Well, I'm Naka. I just wanted to share some information and insights in terms of dress code as you prep and plan for your project here in the Fiji Islands. For the ladies, day to day on project within a Fijian community, uh, it would be Sulu, sarong or skirt and t-shirt. And by skirt, maxi skirts are a great example. For the ladies going into church, into school or any formal occasion that of course the leaders would let you know, we would ask you to be in dresses, either the Fijian dresses or ones you may have brought from overseas, or skirt and blouse, skirt and shirt. If you're going into the kindergarten, then sarong, sulu or skirt and t-shirt is absolutely fine. For the ladies, if you're trekking, if you're swimming, if you're walking between communities outside of the village boundaries, then the long board shorts that go to the knee and t-shirt would be suitable. For sports coaching, when within the school compounds, you can either wear those same long shorts or board shorts, or alternatively, sports leggings with sports shorts over the top. Please note that in your home, guys, uh, when you're sleeping, you can wear whatever you may be comfortable in. But otherwise, when up and about within the home or within the community, we would ask for the Sulu and T-shirt to be worn. As a few tips for all, uh, firstly, in terms of trousers for the ladies, uh, they are the anomaly, so to speak, and we would ask that you still wrap a Sulu. For all, the head and shoulders in Fiji is seen as sacred, is seen as the connection to God. So within any village boundaries, within any community, we wouldn't wear hats on our head, sunglasses or glasses on the top of our head, have towels around our shoulders or have kids around our shoulders. When outside of the village boundaries, if you are trekking or playing sports, then hats or caps may of course be worn. We would also ask that for every member of the team, if heading into a carver or Yangona ceremony, you're dressed in a Sulu and t-shirt so that we are appropriate at all times. In terms of dress code, the customs and the cultures, uh, we believe in upholding them to their highest standard. By doing that, we may never cause offence or offend families, communities or neighbouring villages. Uh, we understand and appreciate the challenges that may come and we really do appreciate and respect you for embracing the local culture and the local customs, including the dress code, on the project that lies ahead. Vinakava Levu.